If any photo you possess on your phone is less than a bathing suit, you will not have it. You will delete them all. Wait, what? <laughs> what if you're married? Yeah, I got to delete all my photos of you, baby. <laughs> gotta take the photos off. <laughs>
The journey you are embarking upon will not be easy, but you wouldn't be here if we didn't think you couldn't meet the challenge. Listen up, you're last for your social. After being welcomed, recruits begin what's known as processing, which can mm. take one to two weeks before their actual training begins. In a little bit, we'll give you a period to go in a room by yourself. First, they're given one last chance to discreetly dispose of prohibited contraband, like drugs, alcohol, tobacco, okay, and inappropriate yeah, photographs. If any photo you possess on your phone is less than a bathing suit, you will not have it. You will delete them all. Wait, what? <laughs> what if you're married? Yeah, I got to delete all my photos of you, baby. <laughs> can I take the photos off? By throwing it down a metal chute. Is anybody confused on what you can and cannot have? The next morning, the recruits report to the barber shop. Oh, no! The girls gotta go through that, too? Oh, no, I thought that was a joke. They the really girls gotta shave their heads. Been here ever since 1963. Hold on, though, fella. They both said that's a long time, boy. Been here since 1963. So he didn't, he didn't been recruited. He didn't serve, and he was enlisted to work there as well, cause he's a barber now. Are you guys so right? As if you can see, we do have our beautiful girl with us right here, Sienna. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she's gonna be joining us in our reactions. First time in a reaction video ever. So, yes, this is the first time. Uh, no. No. Really? That's not? Y'all met her already? Y'all yeah, know who she is? In the Elvis one. <laughs> oh, okay. So, again, you guys show some love. Smash the like for, you know what I'm saying? Let us know how adorable she is. Drop some hearts. Yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do. Facts. So, listen, man. My man's here. Been here for a long time. 1963. Mm. Yeah. Man, that's, that's your life. I've been a long time ago. He but retired. I wake up in the morning and I be wanting to come out here and go to work. He love the kids. He loved yeah. the kids. Are issued the uniforms. People. They receive a series of immunizations. Oh yeah, I heard about yep. these. They still do that. And get their official photo taken, yeah, around, along everybody. with myriad housekeeping details that fill up their one to two week stay in processing. Hey, sit up straight. That is until sleep. processing ends. <laughs> it's hard. See, that's why I couldn't do it. I like my sleep. Arrives. Let's go. Grab your bags and go. We found a company I love a challenge, about though. to begin training in the armor school. I love a challenge. Love the These recruits are about to be picked up and taken to their barracks, where they'll reside for the rest of their training. So they all separating now. They got different barracks. Look at all these buses. Let's go. Now. You guys are going to the front bus. Go. This is the last chance for recruits to change their minds before training begins. I wonder how many like people actually say, you know what? Decided it's to not for me. Behind. I'm going to go home to my mama. Bacon, you home Texas. Come on, my daddy. Go going home my house. Oh, I mean, come on. I know what you're talking about. Like, when I was, you know, before college. Yeah, because that's when recruits really come find you. Right in your high school age. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Oh, that is fun. You can't see that. This short bus ride from processing to their new barracks will Stay be the quiet. most peaceful moments these recruits will experience for a while. What happens next is known as the shark attack. Come on, don't be torturing these ones that get off the bus, no? Everyone, you freaking go! 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 He can't cuss on camera. The system, it's so not funny, them. babe, but I mean, we do have families in there and I ask them the same questions. I'm like, how do y'all do it? Like, how can y'all sit there with a straight face? I guess it's all about discipline, but... It is, but that's like... I, I think it's, it just depends on your personality type. And I was type. about to say that. Because, you know, even with me, I wanted to join the sorority and I, I went to the meetings and I'm like, this is just not for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just... And my dad is a Navy vet, so mm -hmm. don't even start with all that but i just Shout it's just not for me yeah because and i actually wanted to join the military at one point and my dad was like no you don't girl it ain't for you if he know he know trust yeah. me yeah down to build them back up break them down and build them up 
we're breaking a lot of habits uh, in the he's civilian a, world, like, and whoa. nothing better than he's a little serious. shock to the system to establish that that drill sergeant is in charge to let us start our training. You see that incident when a little black fella was getting yelled at and he was looking at the, the, the his, uh, his, what did you call him? Drill his drill sergeant, like, bro, like, like he was looking at him like he's not used to that type of stuff. That... That right there shows the breaking down phase mm -hmm. of yeah. this is not what you want. Right. <laughs> Don't this, come up here yeah. with that stuff because it's gonna you're gonna have to go right back out the door with it. Yeah, but you know, it's necessary. Especially Definitely. like what if they get called to, you know, go to war or ooh, go to some type of emergency. They have to be on one accord. Yeah. That discipline has to be there, that mindset has to be focused enough to know that when it's time to play, when it's time to be serious. And obviously when you're getting yelled at, not out of anger, but out of the control to let them know that, hey, we, we in charge here. Y'all have to, you know, get on board. Much of the shark attack holding their heavy rucksacks above their heads. Oh, see, that would have been where I felt right there. Because you want me to do what? Why is that so difficult? You can't pick that bag up. You decided to join the army and you can't pick that bag up. Right side back, right side back, right side back. Oh, they're breaking it too. Oh, they be breaking it. I know they do. to subside. And the drill sergeant's tone changes. We only produce the best soldiers in the United States. For training officially begins. After the shock and awe of the shark attack, things do appear to calm down. Is it a video? It's a movie. Movie, yeah. We found this group of infantry soldiers in week 11 of their training, practicing on the firing range. The mood was much more relaxed. You gotta learn to break down the gun, assemble it, put it back together. <laughs> and their conversations with their drill sergeants are conducted at normal volumes. Like when this drill sergeant educated the recruits on the meaning of the military expression, ate up. Is a piece of ate up gum good? You don't want something that's ate up, right? If you want something fresh, you break the seal, it smells like olive oil, right? Okay. That dynamic changes because we want the soldiers to become more critical thinkers. At that point, we are turning into more coaches and mentors. Right, that's with. important. So we don't want them frightened. We want them to be comfortable and in a state of mind that right. is receptive to learning and performing at that level. Ooh, Up to 241 mm. hours of infantry OSIT are devoted to marksmanship, where recruits fire about 2,500 rounds using the M4 carbine as well as the M249 Squad Automatic Weapon, or SAW. We create lethality, we create expert marksmen at their individual weapons, because as an infantry soldier, that's what we're asking them to do. Recruits get one of the most painful parts of training out of the way early. Once we check your seal, you will not touch your promat. This group of infantry recruits was exposed to CS gas, oh, or tear gas, yeah. in week one of their training. You're going to continue to follow in until we tell you to stop. You're going to place your back against the wall. The recruits spend about five minutes inside the gas hut. Why y'all ain't going up in there? Ooh. Upon exiting the gas what hut, the recruits are told to flap their arms like birds to remove excess gas from their uniforms. <sighs> According to a drill sergeant, the effects of the gas begin to wear off after about four minutes. Some training moves indoors, like combatives, where recruits learn hand-to-hand -hand self-defense tactics. We're trying to teach them to uh, achieve a dominant body position. So get out of one negative position and then switch roles so they end up having the upper hand in the fight. During combatives training, training, recruits warm up with a particularly painful looking exercise, referred to as the EO. While laying on their backs, they have to engage their core to wiggle across the entire room. They use their momentum, shoulder blades, their, their core to help them create space, warm up the body. Recruits work up a major appetite during training. Oh yeah, that works. But Fort Benning is big and they're not always within range of the dining facility. When they're training in the field, 
Recruits are issued MREs, which stands for Meal Ready to Eat. Each comes with an entree, like this vegetarian pasta with taco sauce. I knew I, I knew to look at you. Open that fruit. I'm a picky eater, and I'd be like, uh-uh. I'm just starving. Instant French vanilla cappuccino. You're like, what you got? Just add water, right. shake it up, and enjoy. Once they're fortified, recruits return to their training. Recruits spend like up to 60 now. hours mm -hmm. in training known as MOUT, which stands for Military Operations in Urban Terrain. Go left, go left. One man called go left. Infantrymen are expected to fight in different types of terrain and survive and win the fight. Right now, they are getting their first taste of uh, what that's like in an urban environment. Rolling tea. All right, coming up. Communication is in, key. In uh, operations across Afghanistan, Iraq, we are conducting clearance operations and uh, it's applicable wherever we go. Boom. It's important for the future soldiers muscle memory because they are working as a team with minimal communication and they have to understand how that coordination works together. Mm -hmm. Do it again. After 22 weeks of training, these infantrymen are ready to leave Fort Benning. Friends and family gather to watch their soldiers yeah, graduate on NOA Field. They look like soldiers, mm -hmm. they act like soldiers, they're carrying their head high. I have trainees that were not alive when 9 11 happened. I think that's pretty powerful that, that I still crazy. can find yeah, American citizens that want to volunteer to serve their country when we continue to ask them to go to combat. Boy, y'all want to see me with a shaved head and a shaved mustache? These new infantrymen don't have a to Poof. greet their loved Brutal. ones. They're changed. Yeah. Or say goodbye to their friends before leaving Fort Benning to begin their service in the United States Army. Wow. That is amazing. My, um, my, my, I want to say maybe one of my favorite parts of this is the breaking down and rebuilding the person back up. I feel yeah. like our, people's personalities are like Rubik's Cubes. Yes. We have sides of our, about ourselves that we have no idea exists. Mm -hmm. And it hurts to have that shifting and that changing and alignment all come in play when you're becoming that person you need to become for a time as such. So I really enjoy the break it down phase because I'm all about the mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just I have a new respect for... You know, soldiers. Of course, I've always had respect for soldiers. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Having vets in my family, especially my dad. No doubt, you know, yeah. um, my brother-in-law being in the um, what is it? Marines. Marines? Yeah. So, um, newfound respect for everything that they go through. No doubt. I couldn't yeah. go through it. Um, of course, I know I could go through it, but I'm saying voluntarily. Voluntarily. Mm -hmm. I couldn't go through it. I just sent here outside to go. Uh, we're like we're gonna do rock climbing or something. Rock climbing. It's not the phys physical part of it. It's just I'm me. That's all. I, I know what say. you mean when I'm you say me. that. I know what I'm you mean. Me. Yep. I like me. I don't need to be broke now. <laughs> so that that's how I feel about that. Um, but so great respect I, for people who serve our country and keep us protected and safe. Can I close this one up? Alright you guys, so if you knew to us we knew to you, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe to the Doom Chefs React, man. We did enjoy this video a whole lot. If you guys have any more requests, if you have any family, and I know we have a lot of lot of subscribers yes, who has yes. family that's involved in armies, marines, navies, and everything such as that. So go ahead, military, drop it in the comment sections down below if you have any more requests like this for us to look at, and we'll be sure to check it out for you guys. So catch y'all on the next video. Peace.